What's going on guys? Well, welcome back to another episode of Bad Bass Fishing. Today, I got my boy Steven, and take a look at this. He's driving. Little brother is grown up. He's starting to drive. Well, we're teaching him how to drive. But today we got ourselves a mystery tackle box slam. So we're gonna have Steven drive. Fingers crossed that <laughs> nothing bad happens. And um, we'll see you guys at the pond and I'll show you guys what we got in this month's mystery tackle box. So, like I said, fingers crossed. Wish me luck, send some prayers. Oh jeez. <laughs> We survived! Oh god. And there's the pond. We're gonna fish. Alright. We are officially on the dock of the pond. I'm going to show you guys what came in this beautiful mystery tackle box for February. And I know this video is literally the last day of February. But, I'm still gonna share this with you. I've been trying to film at Truman and do a lot of other things, but yeah. We're gonna get this done. So I'm gonna hand the camera over to Steven. He's gonna film me, and I'm gonna show you guys what came in this beautiful box right here. All right, first things first, when you get these boxes, you get yourself a little Dibbles Digest, which gives you tips and tricks on what's in the box and how to use these certain baits. And then you get yourself a what's inside the box. It tells you exactly what's inside and the retail price of every single lure in your box, just to show you how much money you save buying these boxes. But the first thing we got right here are some excavator hard hat jigs by, I believe these are the uh, uh, catch code jigs, but they're little shaky head jigs. So that'll be good for today. And then we got ourselves a nice little Carl's Amazing Bait spinner bait. It's actually the first one I've gotten and it looks pretty good. Really good color for this time and the, mu the water's a little muddy, so that'll be great with the vibrations and the color. Next we got ourselves a nice lipless crankbait. I don't even know what this is. I've never seen this brand. Jenko Fishing. Jenko Fishing lipless crankbait. Lipless crankbaits right now are killing it. If you guys haven't seen my last video, check it out. There's a giveaway and we slay some fish on the lipless crankbait. Next we got ourselves a Savage Gear 3D Minnow. I've never actually used this before. It looks super sick. And Savage Gear, I've, had, I've used a lot of their things, but this right here looks pretty saucy. Just, I think it's basically like a I don't know, it looks like a jerk bait, but at the same time, maybe you just reel it in and catch some fish. We got some split tail trailers for that spinner bait that I just now happened to see. So that'll pair up with that. For the shaky heads, we got ourselves some impulse reactionary baits. Basically just some Sankas or some stick baits here to throw on the shaky head. Does look really good, really nice color. And then I think this is the last thing in here. We got ourselves a Lunker Hut frog. So. This right here, I don't know if we'll catch anything on it, but great color, it's about that time of the year. Maybe we catch one, I don't know, we'll find out. But that's what came in Mystery Tackle Box for February. Um, if you guys would like to check them out and get lures just like this and save yourself a bunch of money, use my link down below and it'll help support me, support them, and support my channel. So thanks if you do. We're gonna get these rigged up, me and Steve are gonna try to fish these. The goal is to catch every, or catch a fish on every lure in here, so wish us luck. All right, so we are starting out with the little shaky head and the old Senko on this beautiful favorite phantom spinning setup. And we're going to see if we can catch ourselves a ginormous bass. It is extremely nice out today. Me and Steven got up at like 6 in the morning. We're just biking all morning. And then we decided to go out and fish since it's 70 degrees and it's not crazy windy like it was the other day. I'm really hoping we get into some big old bass. I haven't caught really much bass of size this year, so this would be the place to catch a tank. Oh, Steven's hooked up. Dang, Steven. That's a slaunch donkey, isn't it? Good half pound? Gee, dang, Steven. Pooping on him over there. There's a good chance Steven might outfish me today. Not exactly the most skilled fisherman's in the world. Oh, I just got smoked. Oh, 
He's got it. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. On the old shaky head. Oh, snap. He's a fighter. Ooh, hoo -hoo. <laughs> oh, let's go. Dang, not a bad one at all. Dang, he is a beefcake. Look at that. On the old shaky head. This thing is a beefcake. That's a good pound and a half right there, Steven. Pound and a half, probably. He's a beefcake, literally. He is fat. Dang. All right, that crosses off two of our mystery taco box lures. We got the old Sanko and the shaky head done, so we're gonna let this guy go and go to our next lure. Peace. This is why you buy mystery tackle boxes. They give you lures and stuff that catch donkey fish just like that. Alright, well, I really don't want to walk over there and get my other rods. So we're going to drop this in here. And we're going to throw this on because I saw Steven catch one on a jerk bait. This is relatively close to a jerk bait. And I've never used a bait like this. Gosh, why do I always have to put the hooks on on these things? I'm gonna throw the trouble hooks on here and then throw on my spinning rod. The good thing about the spinning rod is it's heavy enough where I can throw, honestly, probably all these lures without having to change rods. So stay tuned. You won't be disappointed. And we're gonna get these trouble hooks on here. God. After struggling for 10 years, finally got the hooks on this thing. So, oh my gosh, and there's plastic wrap. Well, at least we know it's all brand new. Okay. I can finally, after about 10 minutes of messing around with that thing, throw this deal out. The old Savage Gear 3D Minnow. Ooh. Okay, this is definitely gonna catch a fish pretty quick. This thing is pretty sick. This thing feels like it's just gonna hook into a donkey. Feels like a trolling bait almost. Oh, we got one. Oh, oh, we got a good one. We got a good one. Hooked in the face. Holy cow, it took us so long. Oh, he's not bad. He's kind of giving up on us, but he's not a bad one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get up here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. There we go. Heck yeah. A lot bigger than the other one. That is a nice fish. Heck yeah. And he wasn't going anywhere. Hooked all over the face. Hit it on the paws, too. It was just slowly, kind of just working like a jerk bait. So I've never used something like this before. It looks like a jerk bait, but it dives real deep. But we just let it pause for. Just a little bit, and that's when I felt him nick it. These hooks, by the way, are extremely sharp, so it's definitely worth it. Right there. That's what got this beautiful baby right here. Heck yeah. Now we can go on to our next lure and be on our way to finishing this beautiful mystery tackle box slam. And there goes our buddy. Heck yeah. I was starting to lose a little faith, I'm not gonna lie. This thing was a little difficult to fish, but it came through and got the job done and caught ourselves the biggest bass of the day. So I know it's not Mystery Tackle Box's fault. <laughs> I pulled out this lipless crankbait and maybe I'm just crazy or something, but it came with a trouble hook to put on here, but this lure, the specific lure, I think they forgot to attach a couple things here. The missing little loops to put my split ring on. So this one, I guess, is out of the picture for now until we figure out how to fix that. So what we got, what we got left is the old frog, which might be a little difficult for right now, especially this time of day. But we're gonna give it a try. And we got a spinner bait. Heck yeah. And Steven just caught himself a fish, so heck yes. Oh, did I forget to mention also that they give out literally the sickest stickers in the fishing industry. Like, these are so cool. I love their stickers. But we're going to tie on the spinnerbait 
and we're gonna put a split tail trailer on there and I bet we sh like just absolutely sharp on the fish right here this combo so we're gonna get tied up and get back at it I think I'm gonna focus on trying to cast around this brush over here and try to not get stuck or snag anything but I think we're gonna catch some fish back here Oh god! Oh, that scared me. That bass came literally out of nowhere. Oh god! That wasn't a bad size one either. But man, he just tried to hammer it right at the last second. That was nuts. I don't know why that's happening to me quite often, but geez, these bass are really good at scaring me. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, yes. It's a slaunch. <laughs> oh, yes. That is a slaunch indeed. Oh, yes. Please. That is a donk. Look how fat that thing is. Holy. Oh yeah, on the old Carl's Amazing Bait Spinner Bait. God, he is a hefty one too. My God. I'm telling you guys, right here, this is the combo to success. Well, I mean, nice two pounder probably, two and a half pounder. We're gonna let it go. That was on our last bait, but might get those side and throw something around for a little bit, mess around. Oh yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one for sure. I have a lipless crankbait we might throw around just to replace the other one because obviously we're gonna catch one on a lipless. Because obviously if we catch one on a normal lipless, we'd probably catch one on a good old lipless from Mr. Tackle Box. But since it wouldn't be fair to just end the challenge on that because we do have one more lure that just doesn't have anywhere to put the hooks, we're gonna replace that lure with one we have and hopefully finish this MTB slam. We might even let Steven finish it off, put a lipless on his and let him finish this beautiful slam with this beautiful box right here. All right, well, nice. We move to, oh God, probably break my pole doing this. All right, well, we moved to the other side of the pond. Me and Steven both have on the lipless crankbait and we're going to try and finish the slam by catching a fish on the old lipless since ours somehow <laughs> accidentally was not functional. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the GoPro on. We're gonna sling it out, see who catches the fish first on the lipless and yeah. All right. Let's see who catches a fish on a lipless crankbait first or if we can catch a fish in general. Maybe. Oh, oh no way it grabbed it at the bank and and popped off it's literally the third time I've had a fish hit it at the bank but that one it actually popped off oh my gosh yeah dude they're all hitting it at the bank what the heck <laughs> that was kind of sick literally I could just like see my lure Starting to come up out of the water, and here comes a fish out of nowhere. Oh god, Steven, biggin! Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a good one too. Oh. Stay on, stay on, stay down, stay down. Oh yeah. Oh, it's barely hooked! Oh! Hoo -hoo! Heck yeah. Oh yeah, bud. It's about time. It's not giant, but I will take that for sure. Nice little pound and a half, two pound chunk. These fish are honestly pretty big right now. Not gonna lie. The spawn is going to be insane in Missouri. All right, well, so we're gonna end on this beautiful piece of fish right here. Nice little largy. They're gonna start fattening up real soon. The spawn's going to be insane. So we're gonna let them go. Stan took the L. We didn't really 
technically finished the box. We had that lipless crankbait and the frog right now. It's um, probably not going to work. But in about uh, two weeks, three weeks, the frog will be good and we'll be catching bigger ones of these. So we're going to go ahead and let this guy go and I'll be right back with you. All right. I'm going to say goodbye to our last little buddy here. Heck yeah. How does it feel to take the L? I don't know what you're talking about. We caught that. All right. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't yet and you want to win a new Cast King reel, it's a baitcaster, uh, Spartacus, like Cast King Spartacus, I believe. You guys check out uh, yesterday's video, two days ago, Saturday's video. So last video, check that out. There's a giveaway. You guys, it's simple. Uh, it's a simple little entry. All you gotta do is subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video. But it's all explained in that video. So make sure you go check that out. I'll uh, put it at the very end of this video. You'll see it. It's like the first video at the end screen. Click on it, watch it, enjoy it, and maybe you win. So you will win yourself a reel. I can't talk, but we're about ready to go. I'm gonna let Steven drive us home. God, please watch over me and my beautiful fishing gear. As Steven drives us home. But I'm going to catch you guys on the next episode of Bad Best Fishing. And I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great rest of your day. And folks, like always, stay hooked.